take a look at these gorgeous suede ankle boots. Little peep toe there with the open back to the ankle. So beautiful and actually very popular right now, but I would like to add something to mine to make them unique. So here is some trim, a very stiff and sturdy trim to be able to stitch onto the boot. And I like mine to be able to slip on, so I'm going to be using that elastic there. Just taking about an inch and a half and cutting off that buckle uh, and replacing the buckle with the elastic instead. So, oh, there's some scissors. Just snip that right down the middle there and slip that buckle on out. And then we'll be taking about an inch and a half size of elastic and uh, sewing it there. But I'm going to go ahead and cut that uh, rest of that on down to just enough of a little bit of a stub to anchor my elastic to. And then um, before I put that elastic on, I am going to put some stitches around the end of the elastic to keep it from fraying and unraveling. So I'll just stitch either end of that. And you'll want to do that as well with the... So just put a few stitches around there to keep that from unraveling as well. And then here is what it looks like with the tab attached uh, from the ankle. It covers it up completely. You can't see the elastic, but you can still move the elastic because we sewed it at the very other end of the piece of the elastic. Now the trim you put on will cover that tab and have a little tunnel for it to slip in and out of. And then this is here what it looks like on the inside of the strap. Now, when you go to put your trim on, be sure to cover that tab and also fold under the ends of your trim so they're nice and clean. Um, on the other side, you'll want to leave that little opening there uh, because when you go to put the elastic on, you'll need the elastic to be able to stretch. Use a thimble when sewing through suede or any kind of leather. Trust me, you will need it. Now, the, oh, there's a face in the background. This back part over the strap, over the ankle, I am going to be folding it down so I don't have to constantly be concerned about keeping it up. Now I've already sewn the trim to the boot through the middle of the trim, but that, oh my, that top part pooches out and what you want is you want it to lay as flat as possible. So I'm going to be uh, taking it in or doing little pinches to where I can lay it flatter and so I've sewn right around the middle there and then I stitched along the front edge of the pinch that I did on either side. I also did a stitch across the top. Now for the strap since I folded it over I just sewed it along the bottom to itself kind of like encasing the strap in there. Now you'll see a little ribbon in there I uh, sewed it on there. You can cut a ribbon and glue it on there if you want, but it's to keep the trim from being worn out from rubbing against it as well as for comfort. Now here is one boot done and one not so that you can compare the styles and see the difference that it makes. Uh, it looks really nice that so you can still uh, open and close that uh, elastic there and when it's closed you can hardly see the tab. It goes back encased inside the trim. Looks really nice. So that's the difference between the plain boot and the trimmed boot. So uh, you can use if you want a darker trim against a lighter boot or a lighter trim against a darker boot. But I really liked, uh, wanted to stay with the light trim on the light boot. That way you're able to wear it with more outfits, whereas the contrasting colors would limit what outfits you could wear it with. So there you have it. Oh, <laughs> stomp on that foot there. And so get some trim, dig those boots out, and make them your own.